Thanks, Soren. Uh, again, very uh, a very informative talk and uh, a problem that uh, needs to be solved worldwide, obviously. Our next speaker is, uh, I believe it's Musasek. Uh, he's an engineer in the networks and telecommunications uh, at Cold Superior uh, Polytechnic Dakar. And his talk is how Dr. Cal will save healthcare uh, personnel from coronavirus. Okay, uh, hello everybody. Hope that you feel good. My name is Musa Seik. Uh, I'm a design engineer in telecommunications and networks. So uh, I'm representing the Polytechnic School of Dhaka from uh, Senegal. So it's a pleasure to be here, to talk about our, our solution uh, to Dhaka. So Dhaka is a robot who moves autonomously and who helps doctor to against the coronavirus pandemic. So next slide please for my explanations. Okay, so uh, at the beginning, we had some problem, problem statement. For example, according to the World Health Organization, it is reported that uh, nearly 14% of uh, coronavirus cases worldwide are among caregivers. It is a month. Also, the personal protective equipment is expensive, of course, in developing countries, such like our country, Senegal. We had, we had also overloaded our hospitals during uh, the coronavirus uh, pandemic. And for these problems, we had uh, implemented a solution, Duka. Duka aims to reduce the exposure of uh, health personnel during the management of patients with the coronavirus. To reduce also the cost associated with the purchase uh, of uh, personal protective equipment and digitalize the Senegalese health sector with telemedicine. So for the tiny ML uh, solution, in, in our robot, we have uh, embedded smart health sensor in the robotic arm. So you can use the doctor to, to, to consult the patient remotely. With essential, he can, he can take the temperature, the blood pressure, and the oxygenation rate of the patient. We had also an uh, embedded SLAM algorithm who can uh, help the robot to move autonomously in the hospital. So our solution have uh, some impacts. So we help to reduce the, contam the contamination uh, uh, rates among users, among nurses and doctors. We help also to, 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 to improve the, digital, the digitization of patient care, to improve also the patient, the patient care. And here is some, some call to action. So uh, we'll, be, we'll be very pleased to, so I think that there is some problem with uh, Okay, so we'll be very pleased to have a collaboration with you, with some of some person to enhance the hardware and software part. We need also to create a crowdfunding campaign to help the Dakar team to develop the second version of, uh, of our robot. So uh, thank you, thank you for listening. Thank you, Massa, as well. Um, and uh, finally, uh, our next speaker and the final talk in this healthcare section is uh, Marvin Ogoff, a student at the University of Rwanda. And his talk is called Offline Prediction of Cholera in Rural Communal Tap Waters Using Edge AI Inference. So Marvin. Hey, my solution was based on cholera, which is accounting for 54% in Africa, actually. So my solution was targeting to solve the problem of having laboratory uh, detection. So we need a cheaper solution that can be scalable and deployed on, mass, on a mass scale. So our solution was targeting to solve that problem according to my first slide. Uh, so the solution will be based on tiny ML, which will be detecting physical chemical parameters, taking leverage on IoT devices, as uh, I will, I'll be describing as the basis of my solution on my, my first slide. Moving on to the next slide, we'll be looking at uh, the solution design, what is it entails. So it will be based on physical chemical parameters. So the slide after the motivation of the study is looking at the physical chemical parameters that will be taking salinity and temperature. So this was based on the data that we found in uh, Katana Health Zone, that is an area that is in Lake Kivu, that is in Rwanda. So it will be feeding into an arm-based uh, uh, device that is able to 
to unload a uh, tidy ml and we'll be able to inference whether water is has cholera or does not have cholera. Uh, <laughs> moving on, we'll be aiming to have, uh, we looked at uh, some of the solutions that are available. We'll have some that are using iPhones, some are using traditional laboratory techniques on a board. So that is having lamp on a chip, which is not scalable. It requires refilling of regions. And so this is how we were able to identify gaps that are expensive. Some are relying on cloud-based architectures. So our solution is looking at how can we remove the need to constantly have a network connection since in rural African communal settings, we have this issue. Uh, moving on to the next slide. Uh, as I described, the solution is a pluggable device uh, which can sense data and we can able to transmit it to our microcontroller unit and transmit notifications through GPRS and GSM. Moving on to the next slide. Uh, we started with an embedded sim simulation. We were uh, targeting an STM cube because the Proteus uh, simulation uh, application only does not support Arduino BLD sense at the time of the simulation. Moving on. Mm -hmm. Uh, further, we have our simulation results where we have uh, from live classification and the and comparison on simulation uh, platform, we have been able to get similar results. Moving on. Uh, we were able to get some hardware and we were able to unload our tiny ML. So thus far, we are able to combine sensors with the uh, ad, but we our experiences since we are still combining with Arduino Uno and transmitting our parameters through our wires to the Arduino BLE. Uh, some libraries do not, do not work uh, efficiently. Moving on. So these are the results of our model. Uh, we'll, I'll ask you to move on to the next slide, please. Uh, our call to action, uh, we'll be targeting our public communal taps. We'll see that we'll be affecting 1.5 million people and 2 million people in rural areas, according to who GMP data of 2017. And also we have other countries like South Africa in 2020 up to 7.5 million people, uh, meaning 